Hello guys and welcome to When in Halifax. Today we will discuss about five common problems of a new immigrant. Are you ready? Let's begin. The first one is no credit history. Of course, you just landed here in Canada. Definitely, you don't have a credit history. And if you don't have a credit history, definitely your credit score is very low. So what will happen now if you don't have a credit history? If you go to a car dealership and you want to have a car financing, your interest rate for that car will be very high. So here in Canada, if you're buying something and apply for financing, definitely um, your interest, interest rate will be very high if you don't have a good credit score. So what is a credit history? Again, credit history is your track record, your history on how you pay your debt, how you pay your credit. Second is no job uh, because as a new immigrant, uh, we are permanent resident. So consider your visa is a permanent resident. For me, I landed here as provincial nominee express entry. It means that I got my permanent residence without job. So I landed here, um, landed here in Canada as a permanent resident but I don't have a job. So I came here in Halifax, um, October. Um, yeah, October 16, and then I don't have a job. So that's the common problem. The good thing about is I am a registered nurse back home and Nova Scotia have a very high uh, demand for healthcare professionals. So luckily I was able to get a, a decent job. <laughs> Okay, so, but some people, I met a lot of people, uh, they, they're from different province of Canada that they cannot find job. And one of the solutions, they move to different province just to find job. I met a lot of, uh, a lot of provincial nominee from Quebec. They moved to Nova Scotia because it's hard to find job in Quebec. Same with Ontario and Toronto. There are some students that I met that after their their, uh, their schooling, they uh, decided to go here in Nova Scotia because they had the hard time to find job in in um, in Toronto. So for me, um, looking for a job is case to case basis, and it depends on your profession. For my perspective, um, as a healthcare professional, definitely it will be much more easier to find job most especially here in Nova Scotia third common problem that a new immigrant experience is no family or relative here in Canada you will be lucky if you came here uh, you have a family or relatives waiting for you here but the most cases for me, for my case, I applied for provincial nominee, I applied for express entry, and then I don't have family here. So it is a be, uh, it's very difficult uh, situation for us because we need our family for support, emotionally um, uh, uh, support. Um, but then when I came here, I don't have family. Uh, I don't have family, so that's the struggle. And then of course the homesick. You will be far from your family. Then once you are here, please open yourself to different people. Open to, to the community that you have. 
because the community that you, you have here in Canada that will be your new family so for me my best advice is just be open um, meet a lot of friends those people will be your new support system okay the fourth one is the expensive cost of living uh, once you are here in Canada don't expect that it will be the same as Saudi Arabia wherein most of my friends are working there and they have free accommodation free um, free meals some some of them are from from um, are free meals or free accommodation wherein they just there to work and then wait for their one-year contract to end and their plane ticket will be paid by the employer and they have a one-month vacation back home and then go back again to their employer just thinking work and work and save and then again end of the contract they will have a free plane ticket back home but here in in Canada every, every single thing is you need to pay I, we are paying our apartment we are paying our food every single day we are paying our clothing and if we want to have a vacation because we feel homesick uh, we feel you know, you know we miss our family in the Philippines we need to buy our own plane ticket so everything is very expensive yes you are earning Canadian dollar but then it's very expensive if you think that uh, it's an easy life I can say it's easy life. it's just a comfortable life because still it's expensive most especially I hear one of my friends are living in a big city in Toronto or Calgary or something the common rate for apartment is around 1500 or 1500 for one bedroom uh, some are 2000 3000 so it's expensive and here in Nova Scotia the, the apartment rate is around uh, for two bedroom is thousand twelve uh, twelve hundred or one thousand two hundred per month so for me um it's uh it's expensive it's a cost of the cost of living here is expensive um something is hard to save but then you are in comfortable life for me that's what i that's my perspective and the fifth reason is no more uh, no more nanny no more nanny yeah, yeah. so yeah back home if you have if you still remember when your kids probably you're very lucky yet you have a yaya in your in your or nanny on your house and when you grow up you have started to have your family you have your own family you hide nanny uh, to take care of your kids uh, because there's you know I know it's very hard to find um, trusted reliable nanny for your kids but then but then you can afford to have nanny here in Canada no way you cannot afford to have a nanny because it will be very expensive yes there is but then it will be very very expensive so what happened if you for example both of you are work working your wife and you are working and you have two kids most of the people here in Canada is they send their kids to a daycare and the daycare is not cheap it is also very expensive and then if you hire a nanny you hire for a babysitter it will be more expensive again so it looks like that you're going just working for them okay because it's expensive unless otherwise we you when you came here you are a high earner so yep it, it is that's the reality once you are here in Canada you don't have your nanny you don't have your family here your 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 parents that will go into you will ask your parents to, mom can you watch my kid while I'm working or can you stay here for a while because we're both working or you can ask your aunt that uh, watch for your uh, watch the kids uh, 
watch your kids while you're working so you don't have family here and you cannot ask your friend to watch your kids while you're working because they're most of the people most of the Filipinos here are working because cost of living here is very expensive so anyway I already discussed about five the common problems of a new immigrant is no private history no jobs once you landed here no family you don't have your family here anymore and then the cost of living is very expensive and the fifth one is you don't have nanny anymore here so anyway that's the five common problem if you have additional if you are living here in canada and you, you want to share the common problem that you experience please guys comment it below so that our viewers our friends that are looking for ideas or looking to you know they're planning to come here and you want to get more information please comment it below guys because they need us sharing is scary and that's it guys thank you thank you very much for watching supporting when in halifax we have a facebook forum group just type on the facebook when in halifax be um Im immigration forum um so that you will have a personal conversations and also we advise also to like and share our channel see you guys in our next video